About 150 migrants at the San Diego border wall say agents are holding them outdoors for up to a week with no food, no shelter, no blankets, and limited drinking water. Border Patrol says it's run out of space. It just cannot process any more migrants at that sector. And correspondent Robert Sherman is live. Robert, this has essentially turned into an open-air holding cell. What you have here, Nicole, is a situation that plays out all along the U.S.-Mexico border. You have a lot of people who are trying to cross into the United States. And there's simply not enough resources to handle it. Between two border barriers, west of the San Isidro port of entry, hands desperately reach for food and water between slates of the border wall. Some migrants say they were held here for days, fearing for their lives. We run out of food. There's no medications that we're having. We cannot survive no more. We're afraid of dying. A woman breaking down in tears on the Mexican side. We will go and get some supplies for you. As volunteers and nearby neighbors provide some temporary relief. I feel like I'm putting a tiny grain of sand toward helping with what is an enormous problem and is unacceptable. Some migrants made the long journey from countries as far as Somalia, India, and Pakistan. I'm a young man who's looking for a bright future. I came to the free land to look for a life. I ran from my country because of the situations which are there. The former Border Patrol officials say they are stretched thin, running out of room at its stations in the San Diego sector. We're just overwhelmed. We have finite resources, finite amount of agents. We pull agents out of the field, leaving areas wide open to the, the real bad guys who want to sneak in. This is not sustainable. Volunteers say this humanitarian crisis needs fixing. It is unacceptable that there are people living in the dirt for days, kept here, um, when they are trying to get asylum because they had to leave. And our sources on the ground tell us that Border Patrol is clearing some of those migrants out and getting them processed, but there are such a surge in that area that more migrants are taking their place. It's just become a never-ending problem over there, Nicole. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.